friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we have for you here today. We have these incredible new Marvel Legends from the Black Widow movie. And then of course, some other figures that are in the set for the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Look at these incredible action figures. They are so great. I can't wait for the movie to come out. And then, well, the movie hasn't come out yet. So obviously, depending on when you're watching this, this is April 2020. The movie doesn't come out till November 2020, but we're so excited. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. And so guys, uh, give us a big thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments below. And what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Super Channel G. All right, friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. I can't wait to get started with these incredible Black Widow Marvel Legends action figures. They are so amazing. And so let's just dive right on in. Let's see who exactly we're going to be reviewing today because we have the complete Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set right here. And then we have two exclusive Black Widow action figures. And let's see exactly who's in this set. So first, we have Taskmaster. We have Black Suit, Black Widow. We have Yelena Belova. We have Red Guardian. Winter Soldier. Marvel's Crossbones. Marvel's Spy Master. We have this black, uh, white suit, Black Widow, the Deadly Origin. And we have this Black Widow action figure, this deluxe one that has all these accessories. Looks absolutely incredible. So um, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this. Let's dive right on in. Let's start with our Build-A-Figure set. What do you say to that? All right, so first we're gonna do this incredible Taskmaster. And let me tell you, this Taskmaster looks absolutely amazing. And you know what I was thinking? Just to show you how cool the other Taskmasters are from the previous sets, check this out. We wanna do a video soon of all three of the ones that we have. We might actually have more when you take into account the Toy Biz uh, era. We have these other Taskmasters, and they look absolutely great. But of course, let's focus on our movie one today. And uh, keep in mind, the movie has not come out yet when we're making this video, and we're actually not sure. It looks like they pushed it back to November 2020. It is still April 2020 when I'm making this video. So um, we'll just go off of what we know so far and the really incredible trailer. So look at this beautiful action figure. It looks absolutely great. It looks just like um, the trailers that we've seen. And look at that really tech looking mask right there. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Look at this beautiful artwork. It's kind of just appears to be, well, maybe it's not even a mirror image. It looks like the same image um, twice. And then this really cool uh, concept art back here. Again, we have a close up of who's in the set. And each one of these action figures contains one build a figure piece for Crimson Dynamo, except Taskmaster. You know what I just noticed? This. Notice how this is not out of focus yet. This sort of looks that way. It's actually that way on um, on the print. It's just not really focused. But anyway, let's take a closer look and let's see what the write-up says back here. And this write-up says, Taskmaster is armed with the ability to mimic an enemy's every move. And if you've seen the preview, he does like this Spider-Man type jump where he's got his arm back like this. He's got almost like a Captain America shield. He's got Black Panther claws. I mean, the list goes on and I'm anxious to see just what exactly he can do, what his powers are and who he's mimicking and how he was able to get like all the stuff. And so I don't know if he's got almost like a Stark Tech visor in there. I don't know, but let's get him open. Let's see just how incredible this guy is. And of course this is, he does not come with a build a figure piece. So he's technically optional if you want to build Crimson Dynamo, but trust me, 
He's not optional as far as having in your collection. Look how absolutely incredible it looks. Oh, I almost forgot Hawkeye with this uh, bow and arrow right here. So we'll take a look. So, man, look at this right here. We can place that in there. Let's pop them on out. And let's definitely dive right on in. And let's see how incredible the detail is on this action figure. Looks like the hood is attached to the top of his head, but cannot be removed. So it's probably glued up there. Um, we don't have amazing head articulation, but we have pretty good head articulation considering this hood right here, but it is, um, even though it's kind of softer type plastic or vinyl, um, it does restrict the movement a little bit. Look at that awesome mask where it's almost like a skeleton almost. Look at that, with that digital visor. It's got this really cool um, part that comes across right here, and I'm like, well, is it supposed to have a cape or not, right? <laughs> um, definitely looks like it's supposed to, but I guess part of that cloak. And then um, I'm not sure what this gear does on his suit, but we're going to find out when the movie comes out, right? All right, so let's see. Um, he's got a really incredible ab crunch that goes pretty far forward and a decent amount back. Um, he turns right here at the waist. So he turns nice and smooth everywhere. Um, his shoulders, let's see, they click really heavily and they actually go in pretty well. Um, it's restricted by when it hits about there, if you'll see. So it goes about that far in, won't go any further. Looks like about a mirror image on both arms. Turns right here on this part of the bicep. Look at that. And it's a nice chunky build. Let's see. Ugh. We do have double joints at the elbow. So we're able to come in more than a, than a 45 degree angle. So that's a plus. And let me tell you, this articulation is nice and strong. Ooh, I don't know why we're able to go beyond um, going straight there with a 180. Um, so let's see this fist. It does bend in and out and only goes so far out because of that piece right there. It does spin, it looks absolutely great. And looks like we have basically a mirror image here. Look at that. So that's awesome. This uh, elbow is a little bit more difficult to maneuver than I thought it was gonna be. So while everything else is great, ugh, the, um, the part on the forearm is a little more difficult. And you'll see he ends up bending further out. So you're gonna have to, that's actually kind of odd. Look at that. You're gonna need to support this a little more than I thought. Okay, so let's move on. Let's see the legs. It turns right here in the high part of the thigh. Let's see, we got some pretty good leg movement right here. Looks like we got a joint right there that spins out. This is soft plastic, and this is actually kind of free floating. So, but it moves well. Let's see, we have really strong knee joints, and it's good because it's not gonna come loose, but it does move slightly further than straight out. Look at that, just like the elbow. Let's bend both legs to make sure we get good articulation there. Yep, absolutely. And then of course moves further out. So that's a little different. Gonna get some take uh, some getting used to. And right here, wow, the ankles actually move really well and pivot. So that's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the detail in the suit, which is beautiful. Look at the paint job. I love how it's like metallic. Look at that. Look at the belt. The paint job on this action figure is superb. Look at the mold, look at the pants, look at the paint job here. Look at that orange and blue, looks great. Look at the boots. The mold on this action figure is beautiful. Look at that, look at that hood. So let's take a look at the accessories. The shield, looks absolutely great and does exactly what like our Captain America shields have done in the past. You can put it here on his wrist, like that. Or we can put it in his hand, I guess in one of the other hands. <laughs> and then if he had a peg, we could actually put it right here, which he does not. So just throwing that out there, and with an open hand, we can actually put that in there. So let's see what we got in here. We have two sets of hands, in addition to the ones it comes with. And let's see what these look like. Let's take all of these really amazing accessories out. Let's see, 
we have to lift this tape right here. How are we gonna get this out? Which part comes out the front or the back? Let's see. Oof, this is gonna be difficult to understand. Let's see, let's push it down in. I definitely don't wanna break this. There we go. We have these Black Panther type claws right here. Look at this. So this is one set of hands like that, and that looks really cool. And it shows him doing that like Wakanda Forever, like across his body in the, the preview. And it's like a really incredible like saber right here out. Look at that. Zoom in. The detail. So that looks absolutely awesome. That blade and handle. Okay. And then these hands. We have one with a finger, I guess, to pull back the the bow. And then the other hand to hold it. So let's see what that looks like. Let's let's get rid of these fists right here by just twisting and popping them off. There we go. Let's pop these right on in. By pushing and twisting. And these are probably the hands that we're gonna want to keep on here. So let's put the other hands back. I'm gonna just pop that right in here. Put that away. And first, let's see what his sword and um, shield look like. Look at this. Oop. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely incredible. Him really good action posing. There we go. His knees bending a little funky. There we are. You can turn him this way. Look at that. Oof. And there's a little bit of restriction with his shoulder. That's the only bad part. And his wrist is kind of pushed out. So, hmm, on both of them. So that's kind of interesting. Because it's pushed out, I can't, it doesn't pull in as close as I, I thought it would. I would like it, this sword to kind of come straight like this, but it's forced out. That's all right. Definitely looks cool. All right. So, we can't turn his head more than that. We can pull the shield about there. I wonder if the shield is the size that it would be in the movie. But let's take a look at that. How great that looks. Okay, awesome. Now let's switch this for this bow and arrow. And this looks like it's just gonna go, wow, cool. I haven't even um, shown you what this looks like. The great detail here. I love how this is like a soft plastic right here. It's attached here and here. And then this we can just looks like we can just slide on in there. Look at that. So we can, I'm assuming, put this right in. How do we want this? Because that probably has to go up here. Right? So, since it doesn't show us on the, uh, on the action figure uh, box, let's, let's just put it like this anyway. That way it comes across the top. Even though it's coming across a little awkward. Let's bring the arm over here. And you know what? I won't be able to really straighten it like I would like to. And I don't want to pull it back too far either. So, let me see. He's definitely not going to be able to have the pose that I thought he would. Because in order to pull this back, it would look a little too forced. And this finger isn't going to hold it. 
so hmm it's kind of a missed opportunity because I definitely can't pull that back without it looking forced and weird and plasticky and it doesn't it's not gonna hold it anyway look because for me to push it in there it's gonna slide out anyway all right so it was a cool idea but um, since the whole thing starts to bend it doesn't work and since you need to have the arm outstretched um, and I can't bring it across the body either that's the problem so hmm. it was a cool idea and the execution just didn't work out this is cool so nonetheless these accessories still go well I still love the way they look they still look outstanding and we can still like probably place them here but um, it's not the same and I could flip this over the other way but still um, not the same but still look absolutely outstanding I'll put that away and then maybe um, have him getting ready so all right we'll set that aside we'll see if we can um, what if we try to switch these hands will that work mm, sort of Let's see if we can um, come down like this and bring this down right here and bring this leg up and this leg out how will that look bring this arm a little further like this almost a great pose if I can get it to stay though <laughs> all right it was a little awkward let's see if I can fix it a little bit better but why did I do this pose like this why you ask because of this so let me see if I can get this to work at all all right we did as close as we could do to that artwork right there with the mobility that this action figure allows us to do. So it only goes so far back in the arms, and it goes so far forward with the arms, and the head only goes so far um, to the side and around. But still, I think this action pose is still pretty strong, very dynamic. I don't know if the shield is supposed to be a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, looks absolutely gorgeous. I think you'll agree, and I say let's move on. Looks absolutely amazing. And let's put them right on over here. But you know what? The sword's gonna get in the way. <laughs> Look at that. That's all right. All right, let's move on. Next, what do you say? And next we have this outstanding black suit, Black Widow. She looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. And this comes with one of the legs of Crimson Dynamo. Look at these accessories right here. We have another set of hands, so a pair of handguns, and we have these batons. That looks outstanding. Let's see, is this the exact same picture? Uh, mirror image. And good, we have another picture in the back, so it's just those two. Um, the same, but this one is different, so it's not the same picture three times. And again, here we are. So she comes with the left leg of Crimson Dynamo. And let's see what it says back here. Look at this beautiful artwork. It's absolutely great. It says, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. Yeah, buddy, look at that awesome action pose. I wonder if we can, what's the closest we can get to that action pose with this action figure? And why don't we find out, right? Let's take a look. Let's see, let's get this open. There we go. Looks like the 
doesn't want to open. <laughs> okay. Come on out. There we are. Look at that awesome Black Widow symbol back there. Let's get our build a bigger piece out. Look at that. And why is it slightly looser already? Anyway, get that leg over here. Let's see how tall it is compared to her. Okay, decent. And let's pop her right on it. And this piece pops off. No, it does not. And let's zoom on in and let's see what sort of face sculpt we have. Looks like we have. Didn't even notice that there's like a little blemish right there. Let me see if I can get that off. Give me a second. All right, thank you guys. Looks like I was able to um, get it off for the most part. Look at that. This great uh, head sculpt. You know what? Let's get closer. That way it's not just a ton zooming, but definitely closer. Look at this face sculpt. Looks awesome. Uh, the paint on the eyes is looks like several colors just kind of dotted on there, so that looks a little uh, odd when you zoom on in. It looks great from far, but you zoom on in and, you know, it looks a little interesting. Uh, the face and the hair sculpt look absolutely wonderful. I'm digging that. Look at that. A little bit of plastic coming off right there. Let's just kind of pull that off. Okay, look at this awesome sculpt. This is a great sculpt. And then, um, I don't know if this um, belt is supposed to be, yeah, centered right here. That Black Widow symbol. Here we go. Looks like it's also not attached, but it's kind of um, on there. So that's why it can move a little bit. Let's see. We have, um, wow, it's a pretty big um, ab crunch, but backwards. And then tilts and pivots there. This is where it turns. It's not turn at the waist. Let's see the shoulders. The shoulders move in. Uh, pretty far in I guess considering it has this like shoulder lip right here They go around they click every time they, they move around look at that That holds them in place pretty well. We have a single joint on the elbow It comes more in than a 90 degree angle, but it does have this to keep it from going back So um, I love the detail that's on her suit. I love this right here on her on her wrists that looks very reminiscent of the comic books. And then I wonder why this one has it slightly... Oh, because you can move this part right here on the wrist. I was like, it looks a little different in this one than this one. Okay, so let's see the wrist. This one goes side to side, up and down, kind of like that and around. Looks like it holds a gun. So does this one. We both have trigger finger. And they go, they kind of pivot like this as opposed to back and forth. Um, kind of undecided about that. Looks like we have two holsters right here. The detail on the suit looks great. Let's see, the legs. I wish they would move a little bit more because you can't kick higher than that, I guess, look. And so with Black Widow being able to do all sorts of great um, action fighting, it'd be nice for her to do um, better movement on the hips. You see the knees work pretty well. Um, we have good point of flex right here. Do they pivot? Yes, they do. So that's awesome. Looks like a mirror image on these two legs. That's great. The only thing, and it um, moves right here at the, the high part of the thigh. The legs open up to about that much, but they only come so far forward because it ends up hitting right here here where when I pushed it actually made a line on the action figure look at that because it hits right here so that's a little unfortunate because obviously I don't want it marking my action figure and I also want the legs to come up a little further than just that that's not very far forward so other than that this action figure looks great Looks like we're not going to have very um, amazing mobility um, to pose this action figure, which is unfortunate because I wanted to try and do this pose right here. There is no way this leg is coming this high. And she could probably do barely this bendy knee right here. So let's see what the closest we can do to get that is. Um, but let's take a look at these accessories. Look at these two handguns. Those are great. These are two fists. So I don't want any fists. 
throw these two batons in there. Get a little vent from the packaging. Let's bring this down here. And will they even be held very well? Yeah, because they will. Because they get thicker on the bottom. Look at that. Now we're going to have to straighten this one out. But otherwise, we can definitely have her Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. In order to get it straight, going up and down a 90 degree angle, we'd have to pivot her hand um, away from this angle it's at. So again, we're, we're coming up on some, some unfortunate roadblocks here. Let's see, in order to have this here, we can't have it up because we'd have to pivot the wrist up. So, this is already not going as planned. We can have that, we can have that. We can have one new bent. But it's definitely not going as planned like that. It's the best we can do to bend her leg up for it to look up like this. So, we're gonna have to think of another pose. And I don't know if I like the way these look with these hands that it came with because they're leaning too far forward and to bring them back you don't want the wrist going like that it should just naturally close like that so let's try putting the guns in her hand because that should look better there we go those out and hopefully they're not at a weird angle let's pop that right in here okay here we are just place it so that the, the wrist works well and you know what that should work. So, let's see. Let's bring a different um, pose in this. All right, so we're gonna do a very simple stance, a very strong um, uh, standing in control stance. Very simple. Um, looks like the leg is getting loose. Look at this, unfortunately. Um, and because her limited ability to be posed, um, we're gonna choose to go with this. Now, I forgot to mention how much uh, ability we have to move the head. We can move you know, pretty far down, but if you'll notice the way the hair is and the fact that it's still like really thick plastic, we can't move it other than really side to side and barely pivot. So moving it to this side will allow for more mobility. Um, this side will not because it's going to start hitting there but nonetheless for our power stance we're going to spread the legs a little bit like that and then just have her just very confident what do you say to that I think it looks absolutely amazing put it right over here there we go look at that and from this angle, that's great. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next action figure. All right. Okay, so next we have Yelena Belova. Let's go ahead and bring this up here. Set that leg aside, and let's take a look at this incredible action figure right here. Looks so outstanding. Uh, the only gripe I have about this box is it looks like the same artwork three times instead of at least two different um, pieces of art on this box and technically a fourth time. <laughs> but she looks great. Looks like she has um, two sets of hands and oh, it's two fists and two open hands for the handguns. So it looks like 
Is it the same handgun as, as the Blackwood over there? Yep, definitely looks like it. And this definitely looks like uh, one very similar to the vest she was wearing in um, Black Widow was wearing in Avengers Infinity War. And don't forget, she also had blonde hair in Avengers Infinity War. So let's get her out. Let's take a look. And you know what? I almost forgot to read the write-up. So right back here, it says, Yelena Belova, a product of the Red Room's ruthless training program. Yelena Belova is a fiery assassin. Absolutely incredible. Pop her on out of here. Ooh, I don't want to tear the box. Why is it not? There we go. Come on out. And geez, look at all this um, build a figure pieces. Wow. This looks like one shoulder. And I guess that's the back. So that's going to go here. So, incredible. Let's see how tall he's going to be. I guess not ridiculously tall, but definitely tall. Taller. Alright, and let's set these parts aside. And we'll get to that later. Let's get this action figure on out. And look how she has her hair braided like that. Let's go ahead and get um get her guns out. Let's put them right here in the holster. Something that we didn't do with our last unboxing of the Black Suit Black Widow. Oh, only has one. And then these are knives. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Of course, we have a set of hands right there. Let's set the package aside for a second. Let's bring this on in so we can take a look. And so look at this um, face sculpt right here. It looks like we have. Kind of the same thing going on with the eyes on this one, how when you get really up close, it's just like a bunch of spray dots. And it almost appears to have um, detail when you zoom out, but not. Let's see if I can get also this black speck off right here in a second. Okay, I was able to carefully get it off with a knife. There we are. And then, wow, his head's a little looser than I would have thought and would like, but it is staying whichever way I put it. Interesting. So it actually does not have a joint. It's just on a ball. So it's on a ball joint. But she actually has an extremely long neck. So I don't know if I prefer that. I think uh, I like the one they did for Black Widow. So let's see. The shoulders have a lip here also. But these go more than a 90 degree angle out. Or at least that one does. Or right at it, I guess. Let's see. And we can go further in than 90 degrees right here on the arms for the elbow. Oof, you're gonna need to support this. It works here too, but you really had to push it in. And these can move also, so be aware of that. Let's see, these wrists, the fist wrists do come in and out. And the wrists that are made for the gun probably go side to side yep so and then these right here these stun wrist bracelets they're not glued on I love the paint job right here on this tactical vest that looks absolutely great uh, not feeling it with this simple ball head joint yeah. good ab crunching here and mobility the shoulders do go all the way around these don't necessarily click and then the waist doesn't move it moves right here at um, the rib cage let's see this is also not attached but it is on there really well the, the black widow symbol and this is however attached to the leg here these um these holsters right here the holster and then man this is some soft plastic look at that um, right here for these knives daggers and let's see again these legs don't come very far forward it starts hitting right there so it's probably probably almost the exact same mold as the black widow black suit let's see we have this leg actually comes in even further 
right here on this knee joint, or this double knee joint. So that's cool, but that doesn't do us a whole lot of good. A little unnecessary if the legs barely even move out. There we go. Look forward. She can't even sit up without leaning back. Look at that. You'd have to ab crunch her a lot just to get her to sit up almost. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Look at that. You have to at least have them sit up straight. Okay. Let's take a look at the boots. Um, they pivot pretty well. Go forward and back. And so the sculpt is amazing. The paint is, I love it. I love the way the gloves look right here, even though there's a little bit of paint missing on the inside. Um, the face and the head sculpt and all that looks great, but it's the neck and the way the paint is just sprayed on doesn't really strike me as, as outstanding. But um, it is cool to have an action figure of her. Move this up. And, you know, her head having to stick out like that is not one of the finer points. So, the fact that it, it just pops out so much um, takes away from some of the impact. But I'm sure we can find a, a good pose. That ought to work. Maybe we should put two guns in her hands also. Let's see. That still looks great. Let's see what happens when we put it right next to Black Widow. So, that's pretty awesome actually. I'm digging it. Alright, we'll leave it like that for now. Okay. So let's move on. Let's see who we got next. And next we actually have Red Guardian. And Red Guardian looks outstanding. It's absolutely incredible. And I think that's probably the size of the shield that Taskmaster is supposed to have. But again, haven't seen the movie yet. It's only April. The movie's not supposed to be coming out till November now. It's got moved from May. And here's the left arm of Crimson Dynamo. And look at this beautiful artwork. Let me zoom out real quick. I wish we had an alternate head that had that. Because that helmet looks great. Love the way that looks. Same picture, a mirror image right here. And unfortunately the same picture a third time and then a fourth time. Because it'd be nice to have, you know, an alternate um, artwork back here. But let's take a look. And so it says, Red Guardian. Alexei Shostakov is a super soldier and spy who has lived a lifetime of triumph during the Cold War. And wow, look at that. And you know what? Just like we kind of talked about Taskmaster, check this out. We had this bad boy straight up cold chilling. And look at the difference from this simple comic book Red Guardian, his paint job, um, the colors and everything comic book style versus the movie one which actually looks so much more grounded in reality just looks just takes it to another level doesn't it look at that so we'll compare those in another video but definitely wanted to show you that so let's get them on out and so right off the bat I wish it did have um, alternate heads so we can have one with the helmet but alas it was not to be made epic shield so remember there was a time to say so get closer look at this arm right here for crimson dynamo wow look how cool that looks i don't know if this one's supposed to be broken like that not sure maybe so but it looks great let's set that aside and as i mentioned before and we'll put this package from Red Guardian away. Set that aside. Um, 
this shield has this so we can perhaps put back here look at that so we can spin it and get it however we need to so that looks outstanding okay so let's zoom in since there are no other accessories in the shield this face sculpt looks absolutely outstanding now as I look a little closer that's unfortunate it looks a little rushed and it looks like there's a brown that got in that line right there I wonder if that can be scraped out because that part looks a little rushed from right here it looks incredible and then you turn it there and you're like whoa I got a little extra and or maybe it's I can't tell if it's missing paint or um, too much paint because it looks like too much but then it's like if it was like that well maybe it's just not enough and didn't make it all the way to the end uh, nonetheless the hair looks pretty cool the paint again does look a little rushed right here it's a little touch of gray but overall you can definitely tell that it's him I love the texture on the suit I love how there's a little bit of wear and tear look on there which I'm assuming is supposed to be um, on purpose I love the, this tactical belt, and this one is also free floating. Let's pull this um, shield off. Wow, all of a sudden now I can't get the shield out. Look at this incredible detail right here. And so, this also can go right here on the wrist or go in the hand, because as I mentioned before, like with Taskmaster, this can be tossed right there, or we can put this on the wrist. So let's see, the arms go around, they kind of like click as they go around. The arms go beyond 90 degree angles. And this is some smooth movement articulation right there. We have double joints at the elbows, but his arms are big, so it only comes into about a 90 degree angle. Look at that. Still outstanding. You can turn right here on this part of the bicep. And it's nice and thick. There we go. The wrists go back and forth. So I'm digging that. I prefer that than, than I guess, this little up and down right here. But, um, you know, great so far. Let's see what sort of ab crunch we have. A ridiculously um, back and forth um, ab crunch ability. Turns well right here at the waist. And then look, this die actually looks like it moves better than our Black Widow ones. Comes a little f further than those turns to the high part of the thigh and same thing on both and then there's double joints right here at the knee look at that comes uh, then to about that much now let's see it moves in the high part of the shin I'm not a big fan of that because I'd rather that stay put because we can't move our shins that way so it looks unnatural if it gets out of sorts like there see and uh, it looks like the knee is dislocated if we move that. So um, I'd rather move it up here only. But nonetheless, here we are. It moves right here. Take a look at that. The boots look awesome. These straps right here, I'm assuming those are just supposed to be the same color. But um, overall, this suit looks absolutely great. Look at the texture. This red guardian, I'm glad we have him. And. Let's see, what kind of pose do we want on him? And the, the boxes, just have them standing strong like this, but um, what about the shield? Like, uh, and he doesn't even have two fists come in that box, so let's see, let's try something. All right, a simple but effective stance, like a defensive stance, look at that. Put the shield down, and that looks absolutely great, look at that. So let's set them right back on over here. Look at this. Spy friends. And I think that looks great. Look at that. Let's bring them back forward just a smidge. That looks absolutely incredible. Take a look at that. All right. Great. So, since he didn't have a lot of accessories, um, that's all for a Red Guardian, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's see who we've got next.
All right, and next in our Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set for the Black Widow movie, we have this Winter Soldier. This is the comic book version, and it looks like we have the same art four times again, which it's cool artwork, but I just wish we had a couple, like on the Black Widow one. This one comes with the head of Crimson Dynamo, comes with two guns, and it comes with Bucky right here, right? Sergeant Barnes. So, um, let's take a look. And it looks absolutely outstanding from here. Let's see what it says right here. The Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is a fierce combatant and an asset in battle, no matter which team he fights for. Which is also unfortunate because you want him to fight for the good guys. But um, it's awesome to have him. Comic book version now. And before I pull him out, let me show you something. You're gonna like this. Here are two of the three other Winter Soldier action figures we have. Of course, this is from the second Captain America movie. And then we have this one, which is from Civil War. And this one we got as a steal, practically, from um, Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive. And then, which I'll have to go and find, we also have the uh, one from Avengers Infinity War, which was a, um, a two-pack, which came with Falcon. But let's get back to this one right here, because we'll later on do a comparison video. Look how cool this is back here. This has all these different Marvel sig uh, symbols right here. We have Captain America, Thor. So we have Black Panther, we have Nova, we have Spider-Man, we have Avengers, Ant-Man, uh, Iron Man, so on and so forth, Captain Marvel. That looks great. Okay, so let's get the head out, Crimson Dynamo. This definitely looks like the Mark II of the Crimson Dynamo um, suit. Look at that. Okay, let's get Bucky out. Let's get his... Wow, this is awfully soft plastic, but let's get his, his weapons out. Take a look at that, that one handgun. And what is this? It's like a salt rifle right here. Closer again. Let's take a look. Wow. This is, of course, his metal arm. Look how soft this plastic is so it doesn't break off, but then again, it'll probably be ripped off, so be careful with that. Let's zoom in. And it's more of a mask here than the black, kind of like war paint makeup he had in the movie. We have hints of brown in the hair, and we have what appears to be some. Uh, looks like. They've tried it again with a single ball joint on the head. Interesting. On the neck. And I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that. It looks like it's working out pretty decent here because the hair's down, it kind of covers it up. But I didn't like it on the Yelena figure. So can't blame him for trying something new though. All right, so this is not attached, but it is supposed to remain permanently on there. And the only way to remove it would be to remove the arms. Let's see what sort of articulation we have here. This clicks as it goes around. Moves in the high part of the bicep. So we have double joints right here on the elbow. Moves in pretty well. Let's see this watch. Cool. <laughs> that can be turned on its own. Let's see. This wrist. Good. It moves back and forth instead of um, kind of that up and down side to side. So it moves this way. This finger is pretty soft. Look at that. Little tactical pouches right here, bags. Um, this clicks also. Looks very similar. Oh no, this arm looks huge compared to this one. Look at this. And then uh, we got double joints right here on the elbows. Comes in right here to almost a 45 degree angle. I'm digging that this wrist goes back and forth like this also and around. That looks good. We'll put the gun in there in a minute. So his um, belt does move around freely on its own. It's got great detail and great colors there. This does not come out. None of these weapons do. These grenades, these uh, magazines, this handle for this blade is really small. Look at that. Some more magazines. This is um, floats right here. Let's see. We got 
Really? Wow, heavy duty knee joints. Look at how heavy duty that is. Okay. It turns right here in the high part of the thigh. Same thing on this leg. It's kind of just a mirror image. We got really great baggy pant detail right here. Look at that. Very nice. The boots. Some really well done boots as far as the detail on them. And then they do pivot well. So that looks great. So this Bucky action figure looks awesome. And let's see, which gun do we want where? We can put that one there. We can put this one here. Ooh, and this is some soft plastic. We'll need to open up this hand momentarily. Just slide that right on in there. And we'll put his trigger finger in there. And you know what? How do we want to pose this Bucky right here? Uh, let's take a look. So let me see. Give me a second. Let me see. All right. So one thing we can actually do is have him hold the gun with both hands. That looks outstanding. I certainly think so. Look at that. Depends how we want him to, to be. Look at that. You can use his ab crunch to look even more fierce. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to have him hold both guns? So let's take a look at that. Okay, and I actually think I like this even better. Just an imposing figure. Look. Separate his legs a little bit so that he's kind of taking a step forward kind of aggressively and this Bucky looks absolutely outstanding look at that so I'm gonna bring him right on over here have him just towering over basically everybody else so everybody's like in defensive mode and he's kind of like on the offensive there we go he's gonna start leaning forward hopefully not there we are let me just fix his feet real quick there we go. Hey, let's work the second ago. I guess it's going forward slightly. There we go. That looks absolutely outstanding. Okay, great. And if you want for Red Guardian crouching down, you know, you could probably be as tall as him. All right, so let's move on. What do you say? All right, so in this set, there's still two more before the Build-A-Figure, and let's see who's left. We still have Marvel's Crossbones, and of course, this is the comic book Crossbones. And look, he's got a, two sets of weapons here. Um, those are his only accessories, and then we have this um, leg for Crimson Dynamo. Actually, this, this hand, his arm. Let's take a look at the artwork right here. Looks like the exact same artwork four times they could have at least given us one um, one different pose or something but anyway here we are it looks pretty cool he does not have that same neck clearly as two of the other action figures but um let's take a look at what it says on the back and let's get him out so it says marvel's crossbones crossbones makes it his mission to take out captain america no matter the loss of life at stake which is something that we definitely saw in Civil War because he was ready to self-destruct just to take out Cap. Which is interesting because at the beginning of Captain America Winter Soldier, he's definitely got like, definitely is in awe of him and thinks he's so amazing. By the end of the movie, he can't stand him. But um, take a look at this. This looks absolutely outstanding. And this is our Crimson Dynamo hand. We'll put his uh, arm over the side. And get this crossbones out. And be careful with this because look, you don't want this to rip out. So be careful when you're taking that out and push it out carefully. And you know what? These almost look like what it was, Yon Rogs um, blasters, except they're not green, they're white, gray. 
so let's use these instead. They match. I like that little idea that they match. We'll set that aside. And let's take a closer look. And take a look at that. It's got a kind of a cool sculpt. It looks like I got some plastic on my finger. And this one, he's definitely gonna be able to have great head articulation. Look at that. He's got that skull mask and he can pivot his head a little bit. His arms nice and chunky around. Look at that. Wow, this one actually goes pretty far back. They're clicking as they move along. He's got the crossbones right here on his chest. In case there's any question of him being crossbones. Um, oops, wow. Got a little overzealous there. And then um, he's definitely got the strong triceps right there. His um, double joints for his elbows bring his arms pretty good in. Let's see. And. Let's see, do his hands, oh, well, they again do that thing where it goes this way and barely even moves. Let's see, same thing with this one. They'll go, come this way and that way and they barely even moves that way. These right here on his wrists, they're not permanently glued or anything. And then his belt right here is completely attached right here and it's got kind of a cool detail right here. It's slightly di um, different color paint right here for the buckle. Um, but it still kind of floats right there. Got a strong ab crunch. Look at that. And then moves right here at the waist. Let's see the legs. Come up about that far. They move on the high part of the thigh. Got double joints right here in the knees, but they only come into about a 90 degree angle. Um, it does move on the high part of the shin on these um, big boots and very glossy boots. And the um, ankle has got good mobility. Look at that. So it says here, it says 2020 Hasbro. So it's kind of cool. He's huge and it's kind of cool how this is blowing. I don't know if I always want it looking like that, but you know, still kind of cool. Let's give him his weapons right here. This is, take a look at this. We have two of them. Unfortunately, it's kind of pushing down, so we're gonna have to, there we go. Drop that on in there. We have to wedge that open by pulling this out. And this one may not be strong enough to do it with this. But just this, we may need that. There we go. I twisted it in there. Now I'm having to twist it back. There we go. Where's the other one? So let's jam this thumb open. Well, if I'm just gonna use this, I guess I can put this here and then roll it out like this. Look at that. It's one way, it's not going to be the quickest, but look at that. And then twist it around like that. So that little trick, <laughs> actually wasn't 100% sure it would work, but it did work. And there we are, look at that. So what do you think? Um, so he looks pretty cool. Let me bring this a little higher. Um, he's definitely tall. He's definitely a big guy. And he definitely wants revenge out on Captain America. But, you know, not a huge, huge fan of how he looks, but definitely cool to add him to our collection. So, let's see. Let's bring his ab crunch. Like that. Let's turn on this one. Let's see. How do we want him standing? Alright, 
Let me see. Let me play with a couple poses. Give me a second. I guess I could try and do this again like the other ones, but I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. All right, so I ended up settling with something simple. Again, just like a menacing, strong power pose. And I couldn't figure out why he looked so odd at first. But it's because his belt was so high up. And I was like, man, he looks so odd. So when I push that down, <laughs> he looks better in proportion. But again, um, he does have like long legs and a, a short, wide torso and kind of like an arched back. So um, he doesn't look great in every pose because of, you know, he's got odd proportions. So let's put these, these gray Jan Rog guns right here actually in these holsters to actually fit very well look at that let me see it goes right here you can't fit the other ones because they're too big let's just take them out with a bunch of guns look at that and there we are we'll have him just kind of flexing with his gun across his double barrel gun across his chest so and the other one down so that'll work out great look at that It's definitely tall. There we are. Look at that. that looks awesome. There we are. And we have one more action fig in this build a figure set. So let's move on. Let's see what we got. We have today. Last but not least, in this Build-A-Figure set at least, because then there's still the other two after the Build-A-Figure. This is Marvel's Spy Master. And let me just say, um, I'm not excited that this looks appears to be like the Blizzard body sculpt. Even has the shins that move there and I don't know. And then again, he's got the same gun we just talked about right here with crossbones, that yon Rog looking one. It's like that laser, but um, Nonetheless, well, let's get them open. We have not even mirror image, the same picture right here on the side and the same picture on the back. So again, we have the same picture four times. Could have at least given us a different um, artwork there. And let's see what it says, Marvel Spy Master. An undercover operative skilled in sabotage. Spy Master possesses superb fighting capabilities. Pop them on out. Let's get them open. Uh, unfortunately not one of my favorite body sculpts and single accessory and not even a great one so here we are we have this other leg for our crimson dynamo and that will complete our set bust him on out of here and let's get that gun that little pea shooter on out of there Set that aside. And let's zoom on in here. So, Spy Master. There's his symbol right here. So we even got some paint bleeding. And right here, looks a little rushed. Not even a clean line. Almost looks like a crayon line. Uh, as far as the head, the paint job on the head, and the symbol right there. Looks okay. There's a scratch right here, unfortunately. Um, let's see. For head articulation and movement, we definitely got strong mobility there. We can turn it, we can pivot a little bit, all the way down, all the way back. That's great. We got this really strong ab crunch. Interesting, that gap. All the way forward, look at that. Arms move all the way around. Check that out. Um, they do move beyond 90 degree angle out. Moving a high part of the bicep. The uh, elbow does move into almost a 45 degree angle, it would appear. And then just about um, a mirror image on those. The wrist do go back and forth. I prefer, I prefer it like that. We can put the gun in either one of the hands. We do have a holster right here, this lemon yellow holster. We have this gun, which I told you is, appears to be Uh, 
the same gun but a different flavor. Look at that. We have gray, uh, which is I guess mint, and uh, cherry flavor. <laughs> now let's put that back right here on crossbones, and just to to be honest, this is my least favorite of all the molds of guns. So that can go right here in his holster, which we'll take it out in a minute. We have these hands are really wide open to hold guns. Um, since right here at the waist, got a ridiculously strong ab crunch. This is a floating uh, utility belt. You know, even has an S right here, but it's only red on the front and kind of bleeds over to the top and the bottom. I have a little bit of paint bleed right here. And then we have this little bit of utility and tactical but um, belt, but it's not a whole lot to it. It's not a strong mold and um, it's even kind of pushing out right there. Let's see, um, the legs do come pretty well forward. Uh, they do bend pretty well at the knees right here. They bend a whole lot better, look at that than the uh, our Black Widow ones and Yelena. He likes to come out straight. Um, actually, it feels a little looser now. Um, it does move right here, as I mentioned. The high part of the thigh, I'm sorry, of the shin. We do point and flex pretty well right here on the ankles. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, this is not the most amazing um, action figure. We do have multiple symbols right here. And let's get his gun out. Let's see how well it fits in his hand. Looks like it fits well. And there we are. So let me see something. Let me show you something. All right, so I wanted to show you that um, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same sculpt, but it definitely looks very similar to um, this Human Torch. With this Human Torch, actually, they did you know, a pretty decent job. Um, there are some, uh, obviously some striking similarities. Unfortunately, this, look, I'm not saying that that's gonna happen to uh, this one, but um, yeah, it didn't help that, I was like, you know what, they did a pretty good job with this because it had all these cool little flares. I like the, the way this, um, you could see through him and the texture and, the head sculpt, like, this is probably the best I've ever seen with this body sculpt, but it didn't help that it fell apart. So, um, and this one looks a little uninspired to begin with. At least that one had really cool, like, the plastic happening going on. So, all right, let's get him in a pose, and let's move on to Crimson Dynamo. What do you say? So, what's the best pose I can get out of this blue and yellow figure? Let's see. Give me a second. All right, so we're just having like with a quick little on the go stance. Set him up over here. Next to crossbones and I'll call it a day for him. Look at that. Okay, cool. Look at that. So far, these four obviously are my favorite. They look amazing for the movie. And then we start to drop off one by one here. So it's like pretty good. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. eh. All right. So let's move on to our absolute last action figure from this build a figure set. And then who knows the last two after that, the special exclusives. So what do you say to that? All right. Moving on to Crimson Dynamo. Part you've all been waiting for. His legs right here. Dish. Let's see what this actually looks like right here. Look at that. that looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, so let's get them built. Let's just take a quick glance to make sure we're not missing anything. Those go on the right shoulder, and then everything else pretty much self-explanatory except it doesn't show the back. Okay, so Crimson Dynamo. 
Let me see, we pop the head on first and look at that. Neck pivoting right there. Let's get closer in here. That looks great. Okay. Let's pop this. Are you sure this leg goes here? Nope, it goes here. Oof. Oof, did a kiss. Was it on? <laughs> and the only reason why I knew it was that leg, which I had it backwards, is because it angles up that way. Wow, that was good. I was gonna say, wow, that was easier than I thought. Popped right off. Look at that. There we go. Oh man, it's not staying on. It should be, and it's just popping right off. There we go. Pop this right on in here. Look at that. There we go. This one in here. Very cool. This is actually awesome. I was afraid it might kind of look like the one that was the Cree Sentry or whatever. This looks like it just pops on right here and right here. And then this would go right here and right here also. Very cool. And then this, I guess, just pops on right here. It's under that, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Incredible. Let's stand back. Let's bring it down like that. I didn't see how big he really is. Look at that. All right. Looks pretty awesome. And I want to show you, um, if you're not familiar, just lift it up right here. And if you'll take a look to see which um, person was actually in this suit, I would guess it would be this one, obviously, because look how incredibly close this looks for this Crimson Dynamo. And then if you read on, obviously, this was kind of like the second version made by um, um, that was originally made from Anton Vanko's suit um, but um, I believe was never able to actually use it but either way um, it looks pretty outstanding look at this I love the detail There's a lot of love went into this figure we can move right here the neck we can also move it right here at the head the base of the neck and looks absolutely menacing and looks wonderful I love that um, the arms move pretty well this can actually just pop out if you'd like it to and it still moves up and down a little bit um, it can move right here in the elbow it does not quite come into a 90 degree angle but still this definitely rotates in and out look at that this beautiful detail on this fist beautiful detail on this hand this does the same here it's nice smooth fluid motions and man that looks so great the detail on the back of the suit he, um, turns right here where the rib cage would be and then ab crunches really well on um, the legs now the legs might pop off if you move them too much at the hip where they popped on but we have double joints right here look at this great mold right here look at that turns right here where the hip joint is well no um, on this side here's the hip joint here let's see how far forward the legs actually come pretty, ooh, pretty far forward but um, as I mentioned before this doesn't go super far in so this might still pop out uh, heavy-duty knees the boots the feet do pivot well and they turn but obviously he doesn't need to have any crazy um, posability like Spider-Man or anything, so that's something that just keep in mind. But he is pretty big. Let me see, who can I compare him to? Well, here's what I'll compare him to. I was afraid he was gonna look like Cree Sentry. So Cree Sentry actually is taller than I thought he's gonna be, but Cree Sentry looks kind of off and goofy. Look at that. Cause I don't know, his torso is kind of like off and huge shoulders and big. Um, um, Reese's buttercup hat or whatever. 
but look how great this looks and how this one just doesn't cut it but either way there's a size and then to put him next to like check out molten man let me put molten man next to him you'll see that put that aside or let's put him on this side and that'll tell you how big our molten man figure was look at that Isn't that crazy so three builded figures right here all under one roof okay great that was a lot of fun and what do you say guys we still have two more action figures that are Black Widow related of course one for the movie and one from the comic books okay so let's set these aside let's put this set right here and let's get um everything organized really well Take a look. All right, friends, so what do you think of these? They look absolutely incredible. These are, of course, the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure set from the Black Widow movie. We have four from the actual movie. We have three from the comic books, and then one Build-A-Figure that is from the comic books, of course, and we're gonna now move on to this Black Widow Deadly Origin, this exclusive from Target here. And looks absolutely incredible. Look at this beautiful artwork right here. And this is the white suit, um, Black Widow, which sounds a little weird to say, but anyway, looks absolutely gorgeous. And so then we're gonna move on to this white suit, Black Widow right here from the movie, this deluxe set. So let's see what the back says. It says, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff must save everyone she ever loved before her own past kills them. Wow. All right, let's get this open. Looks absolutely wonderful. And let's see what sort of accessories we have. Man, that is a huge gun. All right, let's get this open. There we are. Let's pop this gun out. There, look at this beautiful Black Widow. Um, emblem right here let's see how cool she is and look at these weapons right here which ones are able to hold those little blasts is it all of them wow cool there's a couple things i didn't even notice look like there is a like smoking gun effect which is very subtle look at this I don't want to lose those, but let's take them out. Let's see what they look like. So that's actually really cool. Let's take these weapons out right here. Uh-oh, already lost one. How did I know that was going to happen? Let's see. What is it? Here we are. Okay, so let me not lose anything else. Looks like they all three have holes so we can put there. So let's take a look at what this smoking gun effect would look like. That's really cool. And I guess these both look this. No, they look slightly different. Look at that. That looks really cool. And we can also have this. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our Natasha. And so we have, um, the paint looks a little rushed, but still, it's a nice head sculpt. The hair, I think could be a little better. I don't like the way it's just flying over here like limp arms. But um, let's see, the head moves pretty well, at least side to side and around, so that's good. This is a soft plastic right here that doesn't interfere. You can ab crunch pretty well right here about the rib cage. Let's see, it's almost like a pearl white. I'm sure you can notice that. The arms do move pretty far back, so that's awesome. Look at that. And they move pretty far forward. Then we have a single joint right at the elbow. 
that does turn like that. And then the wrists, they do this deal right here, which I'm not super fond of, but at least they turn. This one does go back and forth the way I do like, but it is angled in a way that I'm not super excited about. Here's this um, cool Black Widow belt. And I wish it was attached and didn't just float freely, but I'm sure we could glue that if we wanted to. Okay, the legs move decent forward. And we have double joints right here at the knees. So we can get a pretty good, um, we can still get pretty good poses right here if we wanted to like holding that rifle or whatever. And then, um, oh, if I can even get this foot to move, got it to move. There we go. Got some good point and flex mobility and then it um, pivots. So that's cool. You can have her like sliding in. So let's see what that would look like. Put this gun right here in her hand. And then it's gonna be smoking. Have her holding this one. And instead of this one smoking, we can put it, okay, let's put it right there in, uh, um, in her trigger finger. We can put these little bad boys. That looks super cool. Yes! I'm sure we could also find a way to do that. Very nice. Could also have her firing both guns, I'm sure. But that's really cool. And then, man, look at this huge rifle. I guess we can kind of uh, put it over this and over this. Actually, maybe have it go. Ah! Oh, I guess I could have just done that from the get go. We'll go around this. Oops, that's what I get for. Getting a little too overzealous. Let me put this back on. Give me a second. Okay, cool. Let me put it back on. Actually, something funny happened when I put this on here. Um, I put it on and it just didn't suit her to have this huge gun around her neck, kind of restricting her fighting ability. So I was like, you know what? Nah. Leave it off. So, I think I just prefer that. So yeah, you know what? Pretty cool. Now, something that was a little odd was, um, look at this, is that <laughs> her neck and ch uh, chest skin like protrudes from here. So I'm like, that's not cool. It looks like it's layered on top. It looks kind of awkward. Now at first glance, you don't even notice it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. So that's a little odd. I've never seen one like that. So that's a little unfortunate, but otherwise, the rest looks pretty cool. So, let's see if I can, oops, a little crazy there. And so, anyway, let's get her one good pose and set her up. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Something simple and effective. Let's see if we can put her. Oop. Can get her to stand. <laughs> Let me try to get her to stand. There we are. Oh, why am I having so much trouble with this figure? <laughs> it's just not going to work out, is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to put it. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright. So, that looks pretty cool. 
and we'll just have her there. And that'll be that for now. <laughs> no, I got so excited I finally got her there that I started dropping the camera. All right, so what do you think? Time to move on to the last figure in this set is Black Widow, Marvel Legends Deluxe Set. And what do you say we do it? Okay. So next and actually last but not least from all of these incredible Marvel Legends from the Black Widow set and build a figure for Crimson Dynamo, we have this Target exclusive Marvels, Black Widow, of course, Scarlett Johansson from the Black Widow movie. This is the white suit, Black Widow, Marvel Legend, where here's the black suit, and then here's the comic book white suit. And let's get her open. Look at this beautiful package right there. Look how great that looks. And compare that to, let's see, let's get this. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Definitely goes hand in hand with that. Look at all these little Black Widow symbols kind of hidden right there. And beautiful artwork, mirror image on the side, looks just like her, look at that. Looks great, and then look at this cool pose right here. That's a little bit of an awkward leg, but <laughs> the rest looks absolutely great. And then the back here it says, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff reunites with a group of spies from her past to stop a lethal force. And so we're thinking that lethal force, of course, is Taskmaster. And I wonder if there's even more than that. But look, this one even comes with a deluxe stand and explosion. So let's get this on and open. I'm super excited about this. Great. Oop. All right. Pop around out. Look how awesome that looks. That matches all the rest of the action figures that we've done so far. Wow, look, here's the stand by itself. Pop all that out. And then we'll deal with that in a moment. There's three pieces. I'm sorry, four pieces. Three in the stand, the base. And look at this. Awesome explosion. So let's get her out. She's the part that really matters. Everything else is accessories. And let's get up close and personal. Oop. Again, getting overzealous. And look, it's got a beautiful head sculpt right here. A little bit of discoloration here, I'm sure we can get off. Look at that. I like the hair sculpt. It's very similar to the previous one, except the hair doesn't look as red, it looks a little more brown. And let's see. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Look at that. Um, we don't have much head articulation because this hair kind of blocks that. All right, we move right here for an ab crunch right here about the rib cage. The arms go about that far in. This one's a little more restricted. I don't know why, if they look about the same. So. Not sure why this one goes in a little bit more than this one, but either way. Um, also doesn't come in as much. So we have a single joint right here at the elbow that brings us in further than 90 degrees. This um, right here around her wrist, these little stun guns right here in her wrist. They do move um, freely. Her wrist moves back and forth, which is kind of cool. Um, these are just closed fists, and we have two other sets of hands, which we're about to show you. Um, this right here, her belt does float freely, but it is attached and intended to be here permanently. Um, we do have holsters, two different, uh, one for each leg. The leg, again, doesn't come all the way 90 degree angle, so she can't fully even sit up straight, which is unfortunate, but that is consistent with the other two figures in the set. And um, if you'll go back and check those out. And here we are. We got good articulation in the knees. We have 
great articulation here in the angles. Look at that, it pivots well. So that's good, good point and flex. Um, got great detail in the suit here. Look at that. Like the sculpt, a little bit of scuffing there. That's all right. And then let's take a look at these other accessories. Ooh, I didn't mean to knock down our Taskmaster. That's all right. Look at these blasts. Ooh, these are attached right here. Look at that. Okay. This right here. This looks so cool. I love these little explosion blasts right here. There's a small one. And then we have these other sets of hands right here. Look at this. Let's see what the difference is. I guess this one doesn't have... These two right here don't have trigger fingers, and these two do. And so these guns, we have these little, like, stun gun blue explosions right here. And we have these hand-to-hand -hand weapons right here. So, what do you say? Let's take a look at the box again. Let's see what's recommended here. That looks cool, but I think let's use the guns. Or let's at least put the guns in the holsters, right? So, let's take these out. And I'll show you that everything up close. So these are cool, but I'll pass this time. You can use the guns. That's cool, there's two of them. Let's see these little shock bracelets right here. Let's see if I can get these out. Oh, you'd have to take the hand off. To be able to put these around the wrist. Trigger finger, and let's put her fists. Well, I guess let's let's see both. I'm sure you want to see that. So first of all, fists. Let's set this aside. You're gonna want to see this coming out. that on right there. Look at that. I think about that. It's cool, doesn't it? So she's like... Zoom in on that right there. Look at that. Oop. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Look at that. That looks really cool. But let's take that off. Let's put this on. Let's take this off. Put this on. Let's put a little handgun in right here. So I'm going to right here. There we go. Again, with this little pivoting wrist that goes like this, but which is unfortunate because it looks a little unnatural to have, have her have to move her hand like that. But anyway, let's move this out. Oh. I forgot this one with the shoulder that doesn't move out the way we want it to. Unfortunately. I have to move this one out. There we go. And that looks pretty cool. Let's see what we can do with this base here. 
We got a couple of pegs so that we can put her feet. Looks like we can place this explosion just about anywhere. This looks like we'll put it right here. And this can be just about anywhere. But again, let's get the back and see what's recommended here. Look at this. We can put this here. We can have it attach with this little clamp. And we have the option of doing this. And placing that there. It goes up and down that. Okay, that makes sense. And then that pivots. Cool. And then of course we can just place these here. Doosh. Great, so we can just put this here. This opens like this, and it is spring-loaded, so that's cool. And put this right on in here. So that'll snap into place. And I guess we can put this wherever we want it. Remove this, and it kind of snaps. this here and here and as far as this goes let's see that can go right there this can go right here and we do have this right here so can have these going in all sorts of directions, actually. Look at that. That's really cool, actually. We can bring this up, like so. And I guess this can turn. And we can angle this. That's really outstanding. You can even turn that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Bring it down like this. Wow, that looks great. Maybe we should do that. I'm gonna put this other stuff back. Now I'm gonna set this up to look like really cool fighting against um, Taskmaster here. So let me put these hands away. Put this in here. There we go, take that up. And I don't wanna lose any part of this. Put these in here. Final action sequence. What do you say? All right, and here we go. We have a really cool action scene right here where Black Widow is kind of like flying through the air, jumping, and of course we have another Black Widow over here. <laughs> and then our other figure is kind of waiting to jump in on the action. So it looks pretty cool. I love it. I think it looks absolutely great. What do you guys think? So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it to get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let us know where in the world you're watching from. What do you think of these incredible action figures? Aren't they amazing? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to complete the set. So if you have not seen the other ones, well, let me tell you. Go back and check them out. So guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon. Check out our channel page. We have more great videos like this. Thanks again for watching. Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Peace.